Hi, it's Fausto. I'm here at the comic convention. I'm talking with Dan Parent. Uh, the now your official title. You've been drawing the official drawer for the Archie comics for the last 23 years. Right, I'm an artist and a writer. For less. So you develop all the like the plot lines for Archie and oh. and Betty and Veronica. For a lot of the books, yeah, yeah. So what are some like unusual directions you've been taking the the comic series uh, in the last at, under your. Uh, Stewardship. Well, um, we do a lot of pop culture parodies. So we, this summer we have a, um, a parody of, of Jersey Shore called Riverdale Shore. Oh my God! <laughs> so, um, so who's going to be Snooky? Veronica or Betty? Cheryl Blossom. Okay. And, um, and then Reggie is uh, the situation instead of the. Or I think we call them the complication. So that's Reggie. So who's going to be the juiced up steroid gorilla? Big Moose. Moose, of course. <laughs> Uh, stay out of uh, Jersey Shore. <laughs> yeah. Now, are you familiar with sort of the the slash fiction that's uh, occurring online, where they're taking a lot of these characters in in sort of darker or more adult uh, directions, like um, uh, Betty force feminizing Archie, or even like a really f funny scenario where Archie and Reggie kidnap. Betty and Veronica and dress up like them and go on their dates. <laughs> well, I can't say I, I didn't know much about it until today, but uh, it's, it's, it's piqued my interest. Now, Dan, does, does ever the conversation take place where you guys want to take it, the characters in a direction that might be a little too risque or adult for the audience? Because I, I read Archie's as a kid. Um, we're, we're, they're pretty careful about taking them as a, to, to an adult level because the main readership is still 8 to 12 year old kids. Um, and it, it's, it skews a little older for some books, but um, they tend to, you know, we're trying to be more relevant and more, with more adult topics. Like we're doing like parodies of, you know, things like, you know, like the Jersey Shore, Twilight, you know, kind of like real pop culture things. But um, we have a Twilight parody of a. <laughs> Oh yeah. my God! So who, who's uh, who's the uh, now who's the wolf boy and who's the vampire? You know, I don't even know. But I'm actually not working on the Twilight one. I'm actually working on an, another vampire thing. We have Vamp Ver Veronica as Vampironica, you know, Vampirella. <laughs> so I'm working on that. That's like another vampire storyline. Well, it's because the characters were always so squeaky clean and so wholesome, and now it's sort of really interesting. That you guys are taking them into these darker si situations. Right. I mean, we can still have fun with them, and um, you know, you can you, you can play around with the characters. We just don't get too you know too graphic, let's say. Um, when is Jughead going to come out as gay? <laughs> uh, I I think Jughead is just sort of like he's more into food. He's not, you know, he's uh he's straight. Just isn't you know he's just more interested in being with food. Has there ever been a discussion because a lot of gay teenagers um, uh, of bringing like a gay or or a gay teenage storyline to Archie? Um, there is going to be a gay character in the Archie. Really? Yes. Yeah. This is new. This is new. You're breaking this right now on 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 Feast of Fun. Yep. What's his name going to be? Um, the name's Kevin. Uh huh. And uh, he, he's sort of we're, we're just kind of working on it now, but it's going to be coming out later this year. The story. Wow. So uh, yeah, it's going to you know. What's the plot? Can, can you tell us any more details about it? Uh, I can give you uh, some minor details. The the plot line is uh, Veronica's got the hots for this guy. You can't understand why he's not interested in her. Oh! And, uh, he's gay. Does he wind up with Archie or Reggie? Um, no, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We don't go that far yet. We're just, you know, taking baby steps. But uh, that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, you know, we're trying to be very diverse at Archie Comics. You know, Archie's dating Valerie now from Josie and the Pussycats, which I always felt was a more better couple. Yeah, they're a great couple. Which is where we're going to be continuing the stories with them because um, you know they just make a great couple. Now, I mean, the interracial aspect is there, of course, but you know, they're they're. The main thing is to do a good story with good characters. Wow. So, so uh, maybe Moose might be gay and he might wind up with Kevin? <laughs> I don't think so. I think the, the regular characters in Riverdale are, are not going to be coming out. So I think, I think we, that, that's like a, you know, the newer characters we bring in. Well, it's interesting because, I mean, these characters have had such a traditional view on a lot of uh, society, but they've also, you try to keep them contemporary, and now as our, as our society is changing to embrace gay and lesbian teenagers, how are the characters in Riverdale going to react to having a gay teen? Well, the, the reaction is going to be there's not going to be a reaction, they're just gonna, it's just going to be acceptance. Oh, I wanted like crisis and drama. I'm not gonna say any of that. No, I mean it's, it's sort of like you know, like you know, um, in schools nowadays. Like my, you know, my daughter's like 17. She goes to high school. She's got lots of gay friends and stuff. It's, it's not a big deal. Like you know, when I went to high school 30 years ago, 
then it would have been more of like you know you didn't have kids coming out of the closet. But but n nowadays there's there's gay organizations and gay clubs and you know it, it's it's almost like a non-issue now, which is good. It's reflective of the times. I'm not saying it's like that in every area, but but in Riverdale it's gonna be it's gonna be accepted. There you go. Dan Parent is launching a gay character named Kevin for Archie Comics, or it's actually um, going to be, be Kevin's gay comic. <laughs> no, no, it's going to be uh, debuting in uh, Veronica Comics later this year. Awesome! You heard it here first.